Mama backstage. Hi. She's Hailey. Hi, guys. So much to look at in here. <laughs> Are the judges scary? Sometimes. Do you have another alternative for the outfit? Because this is the gala. Now we will shoot the gala show. And uh -huh. gala means for us glam and the, glamour. you know? Yeah. Do you have so any this idea? isn't glamorous? Is what? No. OK. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Wait, so it's happening right now? <laughs> You want a boomerang? Are you doing it slow mo? We are in Bucharest and it's very beautiful and very cold. <laughs> Romania joined the EU 10 years ago this month and its democracy is still pretty young. It's only about as old as I am. Previously, the country had been under the communist rule of dictator Nicolae Ceausescu, who was in control for nearly a quarter of a century. His brand of communism was uniquely oppressive, particularly for women. In addition to enduring labor camps and food shortages, contraceptives were banned, abortion was illegal, and this was enforced by frequent visits from the so-called menstrual police, who monitored women's cycles to make sure they were keeping any pregnancy to term. In 1989, the people revolted, took to the streets, and violently overthrew the government. People are in the streets right now, too, because the government is trying to pull one over on them. The newly sworn in government attempted to secretly pass bills that would decriminalize corruption, which sparked the largest public outcry since the fall of communism. This first generation to grow up under democracy is now taking a stand against the government. But these protests are clearly about much more than any single bill. Life is hard here. My parents' life is not easy either. I'm frustrated about everything because they've been stealing from our pockets and we have to fight really hard. Many believed European Union membership carried the promise of stability. But 10 years out, the country continues to grapple with issues of corruption and economic hardship. Though what membership did do was open Romania's borders for some. And because it's one of the poorest countries in the EU, it's no surprise that there is an exodus of young people leaving the country to look for opportunities abroad. And one way out has been the fashion industry. Andrea Diaconu is one of the most successful examples of this movement. Leaving at 19, she's since become one of the world's most sought after models, walking for everyone from Gucci and Versace to John Galliano and Ralph Lauren. And although she's left, she is fiercely proud of her homeland and its food. Hello. Hi. Thank you. We're going to have a little bit of a and a little What's your favorite Romanian food? Cabbage. You know, cabbage is very resilient, and you can always trust cabbage. What did you grow up eating? Cabbage. Cabbage. <laughs> Where exactly did you grow up in Romania? I grew up in Bucharest. Bucharest. In a communist building. Yeah. What was it like growing up there as a kid? I was already modeling since seventh grade, so. Mm -hmm. Like, what was school like? I got beat up a lot which when you're a kid in Romania, you think it's normal to get beaten up. Beat up by who? By like my teachers. Really? You had to bring Coca-Cola or coffee if you could afford it. That was better. Why did you have to do that? Bribery. <laughs> bribery. <laughs> yeah, bribery was rampant after communism fell. I heard there are seven ways to say bribe in Romanian. Yeah, I could think of three, but. <laughs> and when did you realize how corrupt it was in comparison to other places. I realized it was really corrupt when I had my appendix taken out because 
His doctor was like, emergency, emergency surgery, right away. We gotta go, we gotta take her in. And my grandma gave him money, and he was like, oh, she's gonna have a really big scar mm -hmm. with this kind of money. Mm -hmm. So she had to like go home and get more money. What was your understanding of the opportunities you had as a woman in Romania? I mean, I'm lucky that I'm from Bucharest. I think I didn't endure as much as a lot of women. Like, mm -hmm. my grandma has been through so much. Her life is just horrendous. Since Romania joined the EU, it seems like a lot of women are trying to leave the country for yeah. other opportunities. Do you feel like it was a success when you got to leave? I have a lot of things to be grateful for. Do you remember what your first job was? Yeah, I was in a Peter Pan show at a hotel airport. A Peter Pan fashion show in a yeah. hotel and airport. I was the main <laughs> character. I was That's the incredible. witch. Yeah, I still have the hat. Do you know about the show Bravo, I Steal? Bravo, Bravo, I Steal. Oh, yes, I do. I do. My best friend watches it all the time. Really? Yeah. I'm going to be going on this show. You are? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Can you give me some advice? You should just bring your own style. One of Romania's top TV shows is a fashion game show called Bravo I Steal, which translates to Bravo You've Got Style. I've been invited to appear on this television show, so to get ready for my Romanian TV debut, I'm headed to the mall. I guess the premise of the show is that you dress up in like a cool outfit and then you get judged based on your style. The theme this week is disco. It seems like a pretty intimidating show. So two of the contestants on the show are gonna give me some tips. Hi, I'm Haley. Hi, Hi. I'm Dana, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sylvia, nice Haley, to meet nice you. Haley, nice to meet you. So tomorrow I'm coming on the show. Okay. Yes. I have no idea what to expect, but I need okay. some help in terms okay. of like understanding sure. what their taste is no like. Problem. Do you see anything in here that you think might work? This is sort of disco. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. But maybe... Look, this is very disco. I can see that going to that direction. What would you wear with these? <laughs> you hate this outfit, I can tell. <laughs> I live in the UK now, uh -huh. but I moved to Romania only for the show. Just for the show? OK. Yeah. Why do you live in the UK? I uh, left when I was... Um, 19, um, had the chance to go abroad to work. Is there more work outside of the country, you feel? Um, I it think depends. there are more opportunities rather than more work. I love my country a lot. That's why I came back, to try to do something here. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of corruption at a high level since the democracies, nothing got better. Things got worse from worse to worse. We have a lot of things to choose from, but regular people don't have the money to the buy, money it. To buy right. it. Like, we build malls, but we don't have jobs. Does it make walking through this mall feel kind of strange? No. No, <laughs> okay. you still like it? Yeah. 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 This might seem like your average indoor mega mall, but five stories of clothing options would have been unthinkable as recently as 1990. Under Ceausescu, all clothes had to be made within the state. Factories churned out communist-style ready-to-wear in an attempt to achieve one look for all women. There were a limited number of state-run stores for clothes shopping, and a few dozen state-sanctioned models would present each season to the nation. And while Bravo may seem somewhat frivolous, the idea of unlimited choice is still a relatively new concept here. So I guess it makes sense that the premise of one of Romania's most popular shows is now that you have choice, let's see how well you choose. I'm on the set of Bravo, You've Got Style. It's very exciting. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna wear yet. You ready? Yeah, You're I'm excited. a little nervous. <laughs> how are you? Nice to see you. I still haven't decided no, what I'm wearing. Gonna if the judges are not, not going to like it, it's not our fault, though. Are you going to get changed? <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to like panic and make up some psycho story. <laughs> are you ready? Mm, no. no. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> I'm having a panic attack. Bravo, 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 I see. 
de seamă care a traversat oceanul special pentru a fi în mijlocul nostru. Hailey Gates! The contestants today are competing for a cash prize and to claim bragging rights for having the most steel. <laughs> Hello, Haley. Hello. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. Multimask. Oh, you speak Romanian also? Very little. Tell me, where are you going dressed like this today? Okay. I had this idea that maybe I was a, a child conceived of a key party. Uh, and I turned the shag rug that my parents <laughs> conceived me on into a suit. For real? Yeah, what do you think? And it's my birthday, so I'm celebrating. Ah, it's your <laughs> birthday also. Mm, ah, happy birthday, then. Thank you. It looks like a bear who ran through the woods. Haley, I mean, hello. You knew that it was a gala, right? So sort of, OK. Yeah. You can go like this, I don't know, uh, for a coffee in Brooklyn with Paul Oster, let's say. But I don't think that's a very, very quite, I don't know, inspiring gala moment, gala outfit. Okay. I don't know. It's kind of disturbing. Oh, no. Oh, yes. No, I still. No, I still. While I may have been publicly shamed on national TV, I'm pretty sure no one's watching tonight by the looks of what's going on outside. Protests have now sprung up throughout the country and show no sign of abating. It's really bringing out all walks of life. Uh, How many days have you been protesting for? Well, this is my third day now. Your third day? Yeah. And is corruption a big problem here? It's the biggest. It defines us in the, the last 25 years, so after the, uh, the last revolution. Yeah. Is it easy for young people like you to find jobs right now here? It's not so easy. Everybody's finishing at least one college or high school, and uh -huh. they are very well prepared, but they don't have anything to do. So it's impossible for you to, to have a life. Right. What are they saying? The ones that are not jumping are not trying to make a change. Should so we, we jump? Yeah, okay. we have to jump. <laughs> Although Romania has come a long way since state-supervised fertility checks, it feels like the country is once again at a crossroads. And my generation is trying to change something because we are the ones who are able to see the world from a different angle. We're here to find out what's at stake for this generation of women, and in this political climate, how they are choosing to express themselves. All across Romania, there are protests going on, but we happen to be at Expo Marriage, an event designed to expose the pitfalls of marriage. Just kidding. Weddings are massive here in Romania, so we are here to try some cake, ride in limos, and put on veils. Under former communist dictator Ceausescu, weddings by order of the state were reduced to a mere civil ceremony. But when communism fell, an industry sprung up that now offers a multitude of ways to celebrate your matrimony. No, atendiți să invitați le 3D care au forme hidrobiciclete, avem trei lacuri, avioane, planes? Yes. Strip dancers. You have male strippers. Want to show some pictures? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I slide for more. In Romania, înainte de, de revoluția noastră, și nu aveai dreptul să deții aur, tinerii sunt interesați de tot ce nu. Sunt combinații de astea care sunt antistres. The emphasis on marriage here is so strong that if a woman fails to marry before she dies, it's a tradition to bury her in a wedding dress. How long have you guys been together? Nine years. Nine years? Wow, yes. that's so long. Yes. How old are you? I'm 34. How did you guys meet? On internet. She was dragged to the moment. But this white dress is more than just a symbol of love. After the fall of communism, some women used it as a means of escape. 
In the 1990s, Eastern European women flooded what is now commonly referred to as the mail order bride market, fleeing economic hardship and lack of opportunity. You type in Romanian brides, the first thing that comes up is mail order brides from Romania, mail order brides from Romania, find a woman to marry. Most, if not all, of these websites are geared towards connecting men from other countries, Western Europe, the United States, to women in Romania. And today, while Romania's economy is in flux, marrying foreigners remains a popular way to make it out of the country. Matrimo is one of the most popular of these services. The company sets up a series of speed dates for foreign clients to meet potential Romanian wives. We are doing everything. When a client comes in, for example, in Romania, we wait at the airport, îl acompaniem la hotel, uh, organizăm un anumit număr de întâlniri în funcție de contractul pe care l-a stabilit cu agenția Matrimo. And what's your favorite success story? A mea. Astfel, ea s-a înscris în 2008 pe site-ul nostru. Eu am abordat-o. După o lună, după o săptămână, de fapt, de când ne-am cunoscut. Oh my God, a week! Yes. yes. What makes Romanian brides so special? o caracteristică dispărută, în general, din, dintre femeile care locuiesc în străinătate. Sunt mai conservatoare, nu sunt atât de independente și oferă mai multă atenție cadrului familial decât ar oferi o doamnă din, de naționalitate franceză, de exemplu. But not all men looking for Romanian women are interested in their family values. Thanks to open borders, Romania has become a top sex tourism destination in Europe. But there's one thing that sets it apart from the likes of Amsterdam and Prague, piping hot internet access. Romania has the fastest internet in all of Europe, which makes this country uniquely suited to be the EU mecca of webcamming. Webcamming is a billion dollar global business and Romania has the largest studios in the EU. We're here at Studio 20, which is one of the premier studios to talk to some of the ladies that work here. Hi. Hey, I'm Wanda. I'm Haley, how are you? Let me take you on a tour. This is the learning room. Okay. There are so many books in here. The girls have to know great English because most of the members are from the United States. They also learn about sports, uh, television, movies, and all sorts of things, so they can talk to the members about it. The studio keeps a private tutor on site to teach the girls about things American men like, as well as a masseuse, hair and makeup, and a psychiatrist to keep these women in peak form to bring in a constant flow of dollars. Within the studio, there's an array of rooms that are meant to mimic a girl's bedroom. What kind of things do you like to wear? Sexy things. Like this. OK, so they more like, like a leather. dominatrix Exactly. Vibe. What is the percentage of the clients you have that just talk versus ones that want? I have uh, more people that I just talk. And do you feel like the power is in your court? Yes. And do you like that? Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> And there you are! Oh my god! Each cam session starts as a live video stream. Can anyone see us right now? Yeah. The objective is to lure men into privates, and that's where these women make their money, charging anywhere from two to ten dollars per minute for these one-on-one -on -one sessions. And just trust yourself. Okay, trusting myself. Each girl is given a name by the studio, and Andra has just christened me Blue Sapphire. Okay, hello, Cam people. Where are you from, Blue? I am from America. Be mysterious. Okay, be serious, be serious. Mis mysterious, mysterious. Mysterious, mysterious. mysterious. Okay, sorry. Mysterious. What can you do for me for a couple of bucks? For a couple of bucks, I can do some push-ups. I can... Cartwheel potentially. You should be aware that this is a horny guy looking to get okay. laid. Okay. If you want a private, at least take some clothes off. <laughs> How about my shoes? <laughs> She's never going private, I swear. Are there different price points for different girls? 
Our best earner this month, she earned $25,000. Wow. That's a good wage anywhere in the world. And in Romania, it's 33 times the average salary. Rebecca is one of Studio 20's top earners. Compared to girls your age, do you make more money or Plenty. less money than them? <laughs> Plenty. Yeah. You're providing this great life for yourself, but you mm. can't really talk about it because there's a stigma. Yes, and they wonder, where do I have those money? Yeah. Where and she get sometimes that car? <laughs> I have to say that I'm a rich girl and I have rich parents, uh -huh. which is totally not true. Is that frustrating? And yeah, because they think, oh, she's just a spoiled rich girl. She drives a Mercedes. And yes, it's frustrating because I would like to shout out the world and to tell, hey, I'm working like 10, 10 days in a row. Yeah. And if you weren't doing this job, what job would you do? I will always dream to be a lawyer, but uh, in our country, it's not so possible. Why not? It's big, huge corruption right. here. Yeah, this is why right your um, sites are full of Romanians, because you go to university, you study, and then you go to have a job, and you are getting paid like $300 a month. Mm -hmm. So you basically can survive. Have you guys been protesting? Yes. Yeah. We have been outside uh, mm -hmm. protesting because we don't agree with this. It's wild because I just left Studio 20 and just right on the steps of their work, the protest is happening. I think it was pretty interesting to be in a room with a cam girl who's saying that if there wasn't corruption in the government here, that she could be a lawyer which gives us some sense of what kind of options there are for women looking to support themselves. This protest may be about a law, but I think for a lot of people here, it's about lack of opportunity. Bucharest Fashion Week aims to give a platform to Romania's top designers and it devotes a significant amount of runway time to bridal wear. I'm here to meet Honorado, who's a famous designer here in Romania. She makes wedding dresses along with high fashion design dresses. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so Welcome. much for having us. <laughs> Rochile de genul acesta sunt cerințele de pe piața din România. Looks very nice on you yeah. this color. <laughs> My boobs aren't big color. enough, so. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the Honorado girl in your mind? Fire rebelă și să fii o femeie independentă. Were you rebellious as a kid? Da, foarte rebelă. De aceea am și fugit la vârsta de 18 ani, am fugit de acasă. Really? Why did you run away? Because they want to marry me. Married me. <laughs> uh, nu știu dacă știi, eu sunt cigancă. Părințile, familia aranjează căsătorii. Um, am fost logodită de patru ori, la 12, 14, 16 și 17, dar de fiecare dată am fugit de acasă. Că vreau să fac mult mai mult de atât decât să fiu o simplă casnică. Are you married now? I'm engaged. You're engaged. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, tot timpul mi-am dorit să mă căsătoresc din dragoste. Niciodată nu am dorit să fiu căsătorită cu cineva doar că așa a vrut familia. Și să fie lăsate fetele să facă o școală, să aibă o educație și să aleagă pentru ele viitorul, mă rog, drumul dorit de ele. Do you ever wear traditional Roma clothes? No. No. Are you inspired by them at all? No. Niciodată nu se le vezi cu capul descoperit sau un pantalon sau cum sunt eu un fost scurt. The traditional Romani wardrobe is made of long, bright, patterned skirts, loose blouses, and headscarves. The term gypsy, which is commonly used all over the world, is actually a slur for Romani. And despite being one of the most discriminated communities in Europe, their sense of style has been the inspiration of many international fashion lines, like Gautier and Kenzo. However, within Romania, where the Romani are one of the largest minorities, the style still carries a stigma. Roma designer Zita aims to change that with her collection Romani Dreams. The line combines traditional Roma patterns with modern silhouettes. Iar atunci când unii dintre noi, da, 
nu zic dintre noi romii, dintre noi majoritarii, când văd o femeie de etnie romă cu acele fuste lungi care sunt superbe, îmbrăcat așa și intră într-un magazin, se dau mai la o parte și zic, asta fură. Dar prin această colecție am vrut să aduc cumva în atenția oamenilor că hainele romilor noștri fi puse și într-un alt context. Da, pot fi... De ce nu po pot apărea pe un catwalk? Te-a mea vino, Mihaela. Acesta este un... So cute! Este... It's like a for a Roma hipster. <laughs> and is a statement. I'm Roma and I'm proud to wear this. Zita is part of a Roma theater collective with young playwright Mihaela, which aims to create work about the female Roma experience. We are the Roma Feminist Theatre Company Juvli Pen. Juvli Pen in the Rom Romani language means uh, feminism. Actually, we invent this uh, word because we, we never had it before. And what's the title of it? Who killed Somia Grancha? It's about a girl who committed suicide. She was part of a very traditional Roma family. I mean, the girls are 15, 14, they are married. Mm -hmm. De aici nu mai scapi. Până la urmă, mă îngroat o roche albă de mireasă. Her parents, the Roma community, didn't allow her to go to the school. Yeah, it's these things that Roma parents, they want to protect their girls. I mean, it comes for the times of the Roma slavery in Romania, when the boyers or the owners, they had the first right to have the, how to say, the, to have the first <laughs> wow. Yeah, and uh, the parents tried to to marry the girl before this. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. And do you feel like the Romanian media has a distorted image of the Roma yes, people? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And for for us, many times it's very difficult to deal between how to show the oppression that the Roma women are experiencing, but uh, at the same time to not reinforce the stereotypes, the stereotypes about, yeah. yes, about Roma people. Vrem să fim optimiști, să credem că se reglementează și că, da, deci nu vrem să credem că nu s-a schimbat nimic în România. So we're just leaving the theater. We're about to go into a Roma community to meet some girls who have been in early marriages to get a sense of what that tradition is like today. Romania's relationship to the Roma community has long been contentious. So much so that the government once tried to pass a bill that would officially change the ethnic group's name, because many politicians were frustrated that other European countries were conflating the word Roma with Romanian. Roma women in particular have been the target of discrimination by politicians. In fact, one former party leader once said that all Roma women should be sterilized after their first child. What could have been interpreted as a suggestion of ethnic cleansing was met with less than a $2,000 fine for the politician. As a result of all of this, Roma communities tend to be isolated and are fiercely private about their long-standing traditions, like that of early marriage. We've traveled to a Roma community two hours outside of Bucharest to meet Adela, an advocate for Roma women. Hi, I'm Haley. Nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> Bine. <laughs> How long have you lived here? De aici sunt. Sunt născut aici. Uh, și sunt căsătorit aici. How old were you when you got married? 18. <laughs> și am renunțat la facultate de dragul soțului meu. <laughs> What's your name? Bianca. Nice to meet you, Bianca. Is that common that girls are dropping out of school in order to be wives? Da. Așa sunt uh, crescut și crede că e ceva normal. Ea este o fostă elevă de-a mea <laughs> care abandona școala. El este soțul ei. S-au luat de mititei. How old are you? 18. Who is this? Julia. <laughs> și mai are una aici. Și mai am una. <laughs> How old were you when you got married? 15. Did you feel like you were ready to get married then? Da. Și o verișoară de-a mea s-a mărită la 11. 
Dacă mă credeți, nici nu făceam să mă mări, da, dar mai mult am făcut-o din cauza părinților, că... Este vorba mai degrabă de mediul din care a venit. mai că se a crescut singuri, au avut restricții și atunci când îți lipsește ceva, este normal să cauți altceva mai bun. Căsătorit are mai multă libertate okay. decât ca și copil. Uh -huh. Do you feel like you missed out on anything in terms of your childhood? Pentru ea, că, că nu și-a continuat Da, că n-am continuat-o. Uh -huh. Și gata, acum... Gata, gata, iubita. Iau, 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 iau. Mi-aș dori să merg la școală. What was it like to become a mother? Mi s-a părut prea frumos, nu știu cum să spun. Și am prins drag așa, dintr-o dată de ea. Stau cu ea, să-i fac poftele. Și copilul ei au crescut împreună. I saw you playing outside with your friend. You guys seem like you were having fun. Is she your best friend? Da. How does it make you feel to see girls in your community getting married super young? Când mă gândesc că ne jucam, ne țineam de mână toată ziua și ne jucam pe drum și acum să le văd că stă să facă treabă și să spele după copii și să... să mă uit la ele și să le văd copii. Nu mă gândesc să mă mărit repede. When you're out having fun with your friends and the girls that you grew up with that you used to play with that are now married and they have kids, what do you think they see when they look at you? Eu cred că s-ar gândi să... Se gândesc că ar fi fost mult mai bine să stea liniștite și să își trească copilăria. Te gândești ce vrei să faci, ce carieră o să ai, nu știu, ce te gândești ce faci cu viitorul tău. Așa o să le zic la toate prietenele mele. Nu e bine să fac așa. Do you have ambitions to leave this village? Da. Cred că o să stau aici. După ce termin școala, găsesc ceva unde să lucrez, nu știu, și să mă mut undeva. Nu vreau să am viața mamei mele. Măritatul nu e o scăpare să... While Roma women grapple with the tradition of early marriage, all women in Romania now have to be vigilant when it comes to finding suitors. Young Romanian women's desire for companionship is being taken advantage of in a particular type of human trafficking scheme. Pentru că în 2016 am avut 850 de victime. Au crezut că și-au întâlnit marea dragoste. România este cea mai mare țară furnizoare de victime din Europa. Trei oameni, trei români sunt vânduți în fiecare zi. Victimele sunt constrânse, chiar dacă nu neapărat prin violență. Ele pot fi constrânse și emoțional. Pentru că vorbim de o metodă de exploatare des întâlnită în rândul tinerilor, se numește metoda lover boy. The lover boy method, as it's been dubbed, is a tactic where men woo young girls into a relationship as a way to coerce them into sex trafficking. Nu o să vedeți niciodată un recrutor să vă sară de la distanță și o să spună că, știi, vreau să te vând. Nu, absolut. Va afișa numai haine bune, mașini bune, este nevoie ca să te convingă și să te îndrăgostești. Dar, în acest caz, dacă ai nevoie, dacă ai vorba aceea, dacă poți controla inima unei persoane, faci orice cu ea. I think in another country or our country, this would have just been like a normal sex ed class. This problem has become so rampant here that they're having to do classes like this all over the country. What is it like to be a girl in Romania right now? Uh, cred că societatea în general și mai ales partea masculină a societății dorește ca femeile să fie mai uh, mai docile, mai ascultătoare față de bărbați. Până acum, ca pe vremea bunicilor sau străbunicilor noștri, adică principiile, adică ei încă cred că femeia trebuie să fie ca un fel de slugă pentru un bărbat. Despite initiatives like this class, the government has been criticized for its handling of sex trafficking. Traffickers are often given lax sentences, and for each one that is caught, 
far more go unprosecuted. A former sex trafficker who admits to having used the lover boy tactic has agreed to speak with me anonymously. Okay. How did you get them to fall in love with you? And why is it so rampant here in Romania? Dar în România nu prea ai cum. Numai dacă ești hoț, corupt sau politician ca idee. What would happen if one of your girls tried to leave? Apoi dacă pleca de la mine, era the pet story. După aia le băgam la pușcărie. Pușcăria însemnând un apartament, o casă special închiriată, a apolat a de aia. Dar le-am ținut fără măcare și câte o săptămână. Când o acolo își dădea ele seama că au greșit. And were you ever in trouble with the law? N-am avut niciodată probleme cu legea. Așa după mine, acum, acum, cred că pedeapsa e prea blândă. Acum depinde de fete foarte mult ce declară ele. Asta e iubirea foarte importantă și dragostea de care vă spune la început. Are you ever afraid that someone might prosecute you? Nu. No. O anii care trec că își putea supra acum, sincer, singurul de care mă mai frică mi-e Dumnezeu. I was surprised that the trafficker was so open, but in other ways I wonder if it's so normal here that it's it's not even that hard for him to talk about. When he said he wasn't afraid, I realized how much power they were wielding over these women. We are driving a few hours out of Bucharest to meet a young woman who is currently in hiding as she awaits a trial against her trafficker, a man she initially believed was her boyfriend. The anti-trafficking cops that protect her now, they've chosen this location, which is outside of the town that she's from, um, and they've deemed this a safe space for her because she's still very fearful of being seen by the people that she's prosecuting. Deci, o bună prietenă de mea mi-a făcut cunoștință cu băiatul respectiv. Se comporta frumos cu mine, ne plimbam, ieșeam prin parc, îmi aducea flori, se, prefă se prefăcea. What point did you realize he was pretending? Când a început să mă dea la prietenul. To have sex with you? Da. A pus un prieten de-a lui care m-a bătut, m-a pe jos, pe jos efectiv. După m-a scos la stradă, practic prostituție. How old were you at that time? 14. Jesus Christ. De multe ori m-am internat în spital ca să nu mai practic prostituția, ca să scap. So you were, you were away from home at some point? Nu, stăteam acasă la părinții mei. Eu îi spuneam că mă duc părinților mei, că mă duc la o prietenă și mă întâlneam cu el. Mă amenințau dacă nu mă duc, că vine acasă, îmi omoară familia, îmi dă foc la casă. Did you ever get pregnant? Da. M-a dus la un medic, am făcut avort fără acordul părinților. Am avut complicații după, am avut hemoragii, infecții. Am mă punea să introduc burete de vase ca să mi se oprească menstruația. Oh, mom. Is mom okay? Mom's in the room and she's having a hard time. I'm really sorry. Why have you decided to share your story? Pentru să nu treacă, ca să nu treacă și alte fete prin ce-am trecut eu. Thank you. Eu vă mulțumesc că m-ați ascultat. The officer that is protecting her mentioned that it's sometimes difficult to get the side of the victim and they feel like they can't speak freely about it. And so it's just, she has a lot of courage.
We're here in a shelter um, in Bucharest for women who have been trafficked. Hi. Hey, hi. I'm Haley. I'm Monica. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. The location of the shelter and the identity of the women will remain anonymous because they're still going through trial. Monica runs the Open Door Foundation. Despite the prevalence of sex trafficking in Romania, this remains one of the only long-term protected shelters for trafficked women in the country. Wow. So pretty in here. Each girl gets to rec decorate her room the way she wants, the way she likes. And how many girls are living here at the moment? So we have four and two children. How old is the girl that lives in this room? She's going to be 24 this year. Are you scared? Very frica mea fost. Pentru că eu încă mă jucam cu păpușile atunci. Bine, mie și acum îmi plac păpușile să mă joc cu ele, dar... My idea was that from the very beginning that this would never be uh, an institution. It would be a home they've never had. And why did you feel the need to open uh, a shelter for trafficked women? Simply the need to have something that is uh, of a great need for our country and a need that was not addressed properly. Mm -hmm. There was a transition shelter, which meant they could stay there for 24 to 48 hours, mm. but there was nothing after that for them. Chiar mă bucur că am ajuns aici, că mi-am dat re, reîncrederea în mine și pot să lupt pentru visele mele și... Why do you think this problem is so prevalent here in Romania? The idea of a woman being uh, used and misused, mm -hmm. this is a very common thought. But it's also, we're fighting with a very corrupt mentality. Um, and I'm talking about starting at government level. Um, we have a lot of uh, VAPs involved in, in human trafficking. They don't want to do a lot of things uh, to actually criminalize the clients. Mm -hmm. Why not? <clears throat> uh, well, because most of their bodies are, <laughs> are among the clients. Have you been protesting? My goodness, of course. <laughs> How many days have you guys been protesting out here? 13 days. 13. Already. How long do you think this frustration has been building up amongst people here? Oh my goodness. It, it's been for years now. Honestly, to say that it was the icing on the cake, it's, it's an understatement. Um, we're just simply fed up. They have to go. And what do people want today, you think? Resignation. What happens here will have a direct impact on women's lives throughout the country. Being here in this space and seeing people's devotion to this cause. I mean, they've been out in the streets every single night and it is so cold right now. And they're fighting back and it's really inspiring. To date, these demonstrations are the largest in Romania's history. After weeks of protest, the Romanian government was forced to overturn the ordinance attempting to decriminalize corruption giving affirmation and hope to this young democracy.